Hello, thank you for joining me here at Title Test Mini number four, all about Math You See. And the true story about how Math You See came to be part of Oikos. It's an interesting story, this one. It doesn't have a very clear background, as does some of our other Title Test Minis, because this one's a little bit more blurry, because there was a bit of overlap happening. What happened is that we came across a curriculum called Mastering Maths, written by Let's Farmer. Let's Farmer is no longer with us. She has had what our son calls when somebody passes on an upgrade. So I think that's, that's quite appropriate, that we get upgraded to heaven. But while Let's was here, she wrote a curriculum called Mastering Maths. And what was specific about her curriculum is she took one area of mathematics, for example, addition. And then she taught, she wrote the curriculum around how to teach a child addition, starting with single digit addition and then moving on. And then once that was solid and there was a foundation in addition, she then added subtraction. And so this went on. And that's the curriculum uh, that came on our path. Uh, as I'm saying, it's a little bit blurry because I don't actually recall the detail on how maths, mastering mathematics came to be in our family, in our home. I don't actually recall exactly how it happened. I think it might have been from the missionary family who blessed us with Latil in the early days. But I'm not t totally certain about that. However, that is what we were using. And while we were using this particular curriculum, we found it, the concept of the model of it being one topic at a time. We felt that really worked to have to focus on one at a time like that. And so it was working for us. And then along the way, we discovered Maths You See. And the first thing that got my attention on Maths You See was the fact that it was a similar model and the fact that it started with addition. And there was one whole book on addition called Alpha. And then the next book, Beta, being about subtraction only. Well, obviously, addition and subtraction, one builds on the other. And so it was interesting to me that there was this now other curriculum that was getting a lot of attention. And it, I'm not, as I say, again, I'm not sure how we came up to discover maths, you see. But what I do remember, and I will never forget, is the fact that I went to one of the conventions in the States, again, um, to go and speak there, not necessarily to seek out curriculum, because that's not what we ever really did. We were never hunting for curriculum. We found that God brought it on our path as and when the time was right. So there I was at the convention, and I met Mr. Demi himself. Now, what was funny was that he had a name tag on, because, you know, at these conventions, you have to have your registration at the door and get your name tag. And his name tag said Dr. Demi. And I was quite curious about that. I said to him, I didn't know that you were a doctor. He said, no, I'm not a doctor. So I said, well, your name tag says Dr. Demi. And he hadn't even noticed it until that point that it said Dr. Demi. So it became quite an ongoing joke for the years that followed that um, we spoke about the fact that he was the doctor to the maths problems. And he was sorting out the problems and helping everybody with their fear of maths and helping them get over the problem of maths and so on and so forth. So I just continued to call him Dr. Demi. In fact, when I wrote him, I just said, hello, doctor. Um, please can you help us with this problem and it was amusing because both of us were actually just really not about that we were about just being servants and we decided that doctors are servants and so we were servants and so we dropped the doctor and we replaced it with servant so I started calling him servant Steve and he was calling me servant Sonia and so it went on anyway we started importing maths you see uh, curriculum starting with primer all the way through to the end and the very very final years weren't yet been written so we started in the days of when Steve was actually still developing the program and then that's when we started distributing in South Africa and then he very kindly gave us permission to start printing here in South Africa so we didn't have to import. We also wanted to convert Matthew C to make it more South African instead of donuts and baseball we'd have Bolton and rugby, for example. And Steve kindly allowed us to do that as well. And so the work began. We also wanted to convert it from imperial to, met to the metric system, which we did, and also the currency, South African currency, rands and cents instead of dollars. So that's, that's the work began. It began with some volunteer moms who very kindly gave their time and, and put an effort into converting Matthew C into South African Matthew C. 
this is all part of our title test me because the story continues and it started then in those days way back then a few decades back and here we are today printing mats you see in South Africa uh, making it a much more readily available families don't have to worry about whether they're going to be able to get it because the ship didn't arrive on time or because there was the wrong books in the order and whatever all the problems we had when we were trying to import now we can print on demand. Of course, there are problems that might arise with that, such as storms and printers and difficulties. But we do aim to try and keep these Maths UC books on the shelves at all times to be able to support families here in South Africa with them. And the story has been a good one. Because just like our lateral story, we never had to go looking for other maths curriculum. In fact, if you're looking on the Oikos website, you'll see there's only one maths program available through Oikos, and that's Maths UC. And the reason why is because it works. Because that's what we've been using ourselves in our own family for the children we've home educated as well as others, as well as the many, many, many families that have been using Maths UC for all the years. In fact, because this is a true story time and I'm telling you stories, I feel like I'd like to tell you this story. And that is a dear friend of mine's son is very academically and uh, mathematically wired. And he used maths, you see, and when he was home educated and then went off to university. And the lecturers wanted to know from him what maths program he had been taught with or how he had learned maths or why is it that he had the understanding that he had. And he attributes it to maths, you see, because he says that that's what taught him to see and to understand maths. And so there's just so many stories. I could be sitting here all day telling you the, all these stories. In fact, I've got another little story that's just coming to mind now. And it's not about the wonderful program and how amazing it is, but it's about the wonderful man who wrote the program. As you have come to know him, perhaps you have through the videos, because, you know, he's got all his lessons on these videos, Primer, Alpha. I put them here just to remind you and show you that I'm talking about maths you see here in this title test me. But one little boy... Um, told his mommy that he wanted to um, her to put the DVD in with Matthew on it because he, all the time he had been hearing Matthew C and he was calling Steve Demi Matthew. <laughs> so that was just so sweet. The next time I saw Steve in the States, I told him this little story about the little boy who calls him Matthew. So it is actually Matthew C, you, as you know. It, you learn to see the maths because Steve incorporates the manipulatives and the, all the different learning styles are incorporated in maths you see and that's why it just works for all the different categories of people, all the different types of learners and it has just been incredibly successful for so, 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 so many thousands of families and it really comes to be known how amazing it is and how well it works when young adults go into tertiary or into adult life into the into the business world because they have this incredible foundation and understanding of having learnt about maths and mathematics through the Maths UC program. I could tell you so much about Steve Demi. He is really a man of God and his heart is so so for families and helping them in this area of home education actually it's much broader than just maths in fact he runs a, a ministry about the family that prays together stays together and his sons now some of them not all of them they actually run maths you see the actual organization company whatever you want to call it so maths you see continues to grow and continues to be strong and the next generation have moved up into it and are running it not all of them as i say i, I don't have the details and the facts of right up to today what Steve Demi's family is doing but I do know him as a man as in his following after God and his desire to continue to serve God so he's definitely serving Steve and he has developed this amazing Maths UC program for us again it's going to keep changing it does keep changing as you know that's development and progression these nice covers they used to just be a blue stripe there with the name it didn't have pictures on it. and each each cover now has got different different kinds of um, images on the covers um, and so that will I'm, I'm not sure we are not saying that they're changing they they do have upgrades from time to time and that's not to change the actual structure or model that has been used on the program it's more just to fix little tiny errors here and there or do improvements 
So there it is, the title testimony of Matthew C. Our special South African Matthew C. edition. You see, we even got our South African flag on all of the covers to show that this is South African. And we are very grateful for being able to do that. And we just want to thank Matthew C. America for all that they do in continuing to serve the greater community of home educators worldwide. And we hope here in South Africa that we'll be able to continue to serve the South Africans and others with this incredible Matthew C. program. I know I'm going on about it and how incredible it, incredible it is, but why wouldn't I? It's the only program we've ever had here at Oikos, and it's the one that has worked for so many hundreds and thousands, actually. So thank you for being with me today to listen to this title testimony, and I'm looking forward to sharing the next one with you. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.